And on the other hand, also, who cares? Now, let's go to our story. Sometimes it's very difficult to look at our own story, but uh, because we're so invested in it and we're so consumed by the story of me, 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 uh, I'm so important, I'm so significant, or what, whatever that is, but how much do you care about your story of someone else? And let's start with people who, um, let's, let's start with someone who's close. How much do you know their story? How much do you know your partner's story? How much do you know your children's story? How accurate is your uh, information about your parents, their story? And these are people close to you or your children, whatever it is. They're very close to you. But if you go outside of this circle a little bit further in each direction, how much do you care about your best friend or one of your friends? Now, let's say now we're not dealing with people very close to us, friends. How much do you care about their story? Do you sit down and dwell on their story? Do you spend time thinking about their story? What happened to them 10 years ago, five years ago? I mean, do you care? Who cares? I mean, how much of your time goes into paying attention of somebody else's story? You, you don't pay, you don't put any attention you don't put any time into dwelling in someone else's story. Now, I'm not talking about a celebrity and you're following somebody and you're really consumed by what's going on with them. And that even is not accurate because you're just getting information based on the media because you're not in their lives. And you don't know some celebrity what is really happening with them. You're not in, in their, their life to understand it. But that... But basically, when we're talking about me and my friends around me, I am really consumed and with my own story, whatever that is. And everybody else says, I hear something, but I don't pay much attention unless it's affecting me in some way and has an impact on me. But if it doesn't have an impact on me, it basically comes in and just goes out. So that's the number one thing. I would like you to spend time and attention, pay attention and look at it. And use this as a way of recognizing of how much during the day or during the week, your mind is occupied with the me story and how much of this story is real. And then the traps that we as basically a society fall into, there's different things. How many people have you met or how many times in your life you've been at this place that you are so consumed by events that have happened to you and or your fears about the past or your regrets of the past that you regretting about this has happened, that has happened. I didn't do this. I should have gone to this school. I should have accomplished this or that. Or you're bl either you're blaming yourself or you're blaming somebody else for something they've done. And if you're not doing these kind of things yourself, how many people do you know? Are they in your family? They're close to you or you come across friends that they are so trapped into their past and they're not free. They're constantly dwelling in that world, either admiring themselves from the past or they're blaming themselves or they're doing it to other people. 
and they, they can't just let it go. And I'm sure you have come across people like that and you've dealt with that. And you may have been one of those people yourself or maybe you are one of them. Anyway, but you want to take a look at it. And then how much of your time do you spend if, in the future of what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen 10 years from now to my kids? What kind of world are we going to have? I am so worried about the 5G technology that in the next 10 years, we're all going to die from cancer because 5G is evil. I'm so worried about that in five years or 10 years from now, we don't have any good air, uh, air to breathe. Our water is going to be polluted. The corporation is going to take over. The population of Earth is going to triple. How much do you go into the future and worry about it or projecting into it that whatever, whatever you're concerned with? You want to look at yourself and you really want to pay attention to this. And you will catch yourself that your mind is swinging in between these two places. It goes from the past into the future. And another thing is that the future that we go in our mind, we go to that place, is doesn't really, isn't it coming from your own past? What is future? When you worry about future. Aren't you coming, bringing something from the past and projecting it into a possibility in the future? You're worried about your daughter that, okay, she's 13 years old and what's going to happen to her when she's 25? So what are you doing? You're bringing a concern and you're projecting it into the future. The concern's coming from what? It's coming from your past. Something has happened to you. Something that you have experienced and now you're projecting it into the future. So, so all kinds of future projections are merely coming from our past. And if you're really present in this moment, then there is no future. I mean, where is the future anyway? Is there such a thing as the future or even such a thing as the past? Does it really exist? Or it's just a game the mind is playing? It's a projection of the mind. Where, what past? How much of it is real? How much of it is recorded? How much of it is accurate? It's only based on your memory, and your memory is fading very quickly. So we don't even know that. Then the future. Where does the future happen? When finally the future comes, where are you? You are in here, here and now, right now. It's always right now. So we're talking about right now in five minutes. But in five minutes, when you arrive to, to that, where are you? You're right now again. 